First and foremost, the story of the day is Ethereum ripping above $1,600. We told you it was in a breakout mode. It played with us, but now the time has come for it to show its true colors. It is turned seriously bullish, breaking out hundreds of dollars. Remember, we told you about Ethereum back under $200, saying it was the easiest money of 2020, and it turns out it's also the easiest money of 2021. Ethereum will become the plaything of the institutions very soon, and it will get adopted by the CME for futures. There is going to be a ton of institutional support for Ethereum that has not even started yet. More importantly, the trend that I keep pointing to is that look at DeFi's market cap. You have the $57 billion of market cap that's just for DeFi, $38 billion of which is in total value locked or TVL. If you don't realize that Ethereum is the home of 99% of DeFi and that this TVL right here is going to be protected by their proof of stake mechanism, meaning that Ethereum needs needs to be valuable enough that you cannot attack Ethereum to extract more value here, meaning that Ethereum has to be, as a network with its 188 billion, orders of magnitude bigger than what happens here in DeFi land. And this is a parabolic growth chart for what's happening in DeFi. So as this continues to grow, this must grow as well, and this must grow. And so as you understand that the growth of DeFi, the growth of NFTs, the growth of these industries happening on Ethereum necessitates a higher value, a higher price of the Ethereum actual underlying token of Ether, things are gonna do this kind of growth where they go 500% and then another yield farm kind of pops up. So understand that it is a little bit like playing whack-a-mole when it comes to this particular season, which is why you need to learn to take profits because after you start seeing this stuff, once once you get a 500% pop, you want to learn how to take a significant portion out, distribute into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then take some out for new opportunities. And that way, if you leave, you know, one third, maybe 40% of your coins in here, you still have plenty of exposure to the upside, but you've protected your initial capital. You've grown your portfolio. You've grown your Ethereum and Bitcoin, and you're moving and you're growing. And even if this thing goes in tanks, you're still okay. You've done well. So my goal here is to amass as much Ethereum and Bitcoin as I can. And then once I feel like Ethereum and Bitcoin have gone as far as they can go on this cycle, I'm going to ride these alts to as high as they can go. And that's when we start really packing up for winter. Or at least that's my plan. That's my general plan. This is the alt season before the alt season, where I think we get a few weeks to a month of wild altcoin action. Hopefully Bitcoin starts to take the show and take center stage again after that. And that would pave the way for an absolutely astronomically big alt season after that.